legal disclaimer. Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use purposes of criticism, commentary, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use made by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, personal use, sits the balance in favor of fair use. With that being said, I do not claim ownership of the copyrighted material featured in videos, and I also don't make any videos of the intention of profiting off of them. And. Click. Well, this is poetic, isn't it? After all these years toting the word sniper around in my name, finally decided to depict myself toting guns in my profile picture, eh? Hmm. Something feels off about this. Aw, shucks! I've made it over 200! Now this calls for a celebration, eh? I gotta get into something a little more spiffy. You know? All my life, I never really knew if I even existed. But now, I realize I do. And people are starting to notice. <clears throat> so, uh, anyways, I've started to just think back and realize, unless you're someone I know personally, I've probably just blipped into your feed like some poindextrous alien presence from out of the blue, eh? Really is impolite of me to leave you guys hanging without an introduction now, is it? Well, howdy. I'm a sentient corner cob called 8-Bit Sniper. If you'd like something more digestible, 8-Bit for short will do. Or if you're looking for something human, Ben. Nice to meet you. If you're interested in the lore behind my handle, I got the idea to make a YouTube channel and also sort of fell back in love with retro gaming around the time MLG edits were peak comedy. Yeah. So, where do I begin from here? You like stuff? I suppose start would be sort of opening up about my motivations, my end goal, my purpose, which I reckon there really isn't one. You serve zero purpose. Yeah, I, I know. Sounds like a cop-out, eh? But I like to see this channel as uh, old school in spirit. Beyond the camera quality, that is. But what I mean by that is, this channel doesn't exist solely to capitalize or target off of like one specific niche. I don't intend to run this channel like a show that's specifically made to target one audience. Rather, I like to see my channel as like a station that runs many shows that cover various different interests of mine that I've got organized up into little segments of sorts, which, I get sounds chaotic, but if I'm going to create content, I prefer it to be multiple choice. And yeah, that might sound like much harder work on paper un until you realize that. Not to sound self-demeaning here. Your life, not to serve zero purpose. Um, I don't exactly run this place with the expectation of it blowing up into some big pristine profession. I'm sure just admitting this lack of ambition to you guys is like asking for the ghost of Ronald Reagan to haunt me because lacking such ambition is, well, a moral failure. But you know what? I feel happier running this channel the way it is, where the engagement comes as more or less an unexpected surprise, and there's more of an organic sense of camaraderie to it, right? Rather than the engagement being something I have to, like, feed off of. I suppose if there is a smidgen more of a purpose I see this channel having other than it being a fun little hobby, I guess it's more or less just the process of making these videos in general that's like a handy little learning exercise for me, right? And it is also a good grinder of the old patience stat. Now then, safe to say we've yimmed enough yams about the soul of my content, eh? How about we actually get to introducing what my content is? Here on this program, you'll get to see a lot of pathetic attempts at humor. The enemies in here all despawned. Nice. So I gotta go, I gotta go in and out like in and out burger. And amateur voice acting. Oh, for frog's sake! And, uh, well, if you couldn't tell by my lavishly decorated backdrop here, I'm someone who enjoys video games. So far, I guess the meat of my content is sort of like old-fashioned documentation of, like, my experience playing various video games. So, like, think of Nintendo Capri Sun or Zack Scott Games, but like an edgy, unhinged Adult Swim parody. Beyond that, I also like to put my brain to, uh, you know, more work sometimes, and uh, make some more thought-provoking, review-y, retrospective -y, might be a stretch to call them documentaries, but a more discussion-flavored dive into, well, you know, of course, video games, right? But beyond that, really, anything I hold dear to myself as a hobby, be it comics, cinema, anime, hell, even food. Don't worry. Unless it's for something ironic, I swear we will not go there with it. Moral of the story is, 
So long as it's something that jumps out at me as cool, I'll likely make a video on it. Hell, every now and then, we even embark on the odd supernatural venture. So there you have it, folks. Um, what I hope is considered a proper introduction. I hope it did a good job at, uh, you know, nabbing your interest. And if it did, welcome to the club. Make yourself at home and stay tuned. Even though, uh, again, as I previously sort of implied, I don't really treat this thing as a profession, so the upload schedule might be a little helter-skelter if there really even is one. I whipped out my old graduation ensemble for this. The vintage drip. Real ones know what's up. Yeah, they look like a geekier version of its serial killer from fucking Problem Child. God, what's his name? The dude who played Kramer? Um, Michael Richards? <laughs> okay. I'm not bopping my microphone. I suppose if there is a smidgen more of a purpose I see this channel having other than it being a fun little hobby, um... being said y'all if you like this video it'd be cool if you guys leave a like on the video comment down below what you thought of the video and if you're feeling cool it would be very cool of you to subscribe to the channel and if you'd like to be way cool check out my socials in the description down below ciao y'all have an awesome rest of your day